Hello everybody, in a moment I'm going to be discussing all the major roads on our planet that go through all the big farms. Um, it's a huge, uh, maybe even the first time in history that anyone has ever looked at all the major roads. So basically what we're going to do is look at the major farming map uh, for the planet um, and essentially look at the highways uh, that connect the farms. Uh, you can see here in the United States, there's a pathway here up through the Mississippi River uh, and some other things. Primarily, it's going to be a story about rivers. Uh, you could totally not even listen to what I'm talking about and just basically the rivers are everything. So, uh, but it turns out that the farms have gone well beyond just the rivers. In India, it's pretty obvious that the farm land and in Pakistan uh, as well as in China um, it's pretty much falls the river and then also here <coughs> in Egypt as well as okay. in Sorry, Nigeria uh, and pretty much everywhere else is also the same truth uh, <coughs> Brazil is not exactly like that uh, Argentina is actually like that you can see the, the farms are down here um, so we're gonna primarily look at the road system transporting all that food <coughs> all over the world uh, this might be the first time in history and actually these roads will probably be valid for quite some time uh, at least the next hundred years um, so this is gonna be a big topic uh, looking at these road systems uh, and it may be many hours of work here so uh, you know take it easy but uh, it's going to be a little bit of a uh, explanation here. The one that I was looking at right now is actually one from Russia all the way through Ukraine and then to Rotterdam. Rotterdam is actually the Europe's busiest seaport. I wanted to connect it also through Paris uh, and look at that. Uh, and then I want to do a special look at Africa here. Uh, particularly uh, in Nigeria and then also Ethiopia it's gonna be very complicated in Africa because the road systems are, are uh, a little bit different there as well as in Brazil um, but uh, basically we want to look at it all and study it in great detail and try to get people some food immediately so basically no one has ever done this ever it looks like I uh, just looked at all the farms and also looked at the road system so we need to do that and we're going to go through that in detail here and hopefully we can find some really fun cities to work with uh, and really fun towns uh, and hopefully every single thing that we're going to be studying tonight will have food because we're going to be following the road system that the food primarily uh, is along so we're going to look at that carefully and hopefully there will be a lot of really nice towns hopefully low stress in all these towns because they have food they probably have water um, and other resources so uh, basically this may actually include some really great spots so uh, we're going to try to go through all of this and like i said it's going to be a huge project um, i'm going to take a break here for a moment i got some people over here a friend of mine doesn't have a house right now he's um you know looking for a place so he's been staying with me but uh we're trying to get some other situations figured out here around our town because it's getting cold and there's many people sleeping on outside and in bad conditions so basically uh and there's a lot of people on the internet wa completely wasting their time so i really hope that you do not listen to everything we're going to talk about this might be many hours of work uh, and just a lot of details so uh, but uh, it will definitely be worth your time and like you can see here this is that whole farmland path and we need to like really carefully diagram this out looking at really interesting cities as well as really great farms so this is just one of the first in Europe. Now, the complexity here is actually getting down. We looked already at the road system from here all the way to Afghanistan, down through Pakistan, and then even to Karachi. So we've already looked at that road there. But anyway, I'll 
be hold on one second so just so you know uh, this is a very important project uh, we're talking about food for billions of people right now uh, I don't want to make any mistakes and it is a very big risk to listen to me because there's a lot of ways to look at this uh, I mean we're gonna look at road systems everywhere so we're gonna primarily focus on the world's largest cities uh, and you know like Bangkok Thailand and looking at the road system there uh, and then also looking at Shanghai and Beijing uh, and uh, actually we're probably uh, and some of these things are going to be really amazing that we're going to find out here so it's just never been done before it seems like so anyway uh, we have the opportunity to do this kind of research right now because we have access and you can have uh, the internet and different things I hate working on this I wish I could never even work on this project but it's so important that no one's ever done it and uh, hopefully you'll find some really interesting things. So, uh, again, here is into West Africa. Uh, there's just a huge amount of farming going on right in here in East Africa, right next to the jungle. And so that's going to get really complicated because choosing the road pathways, you know, we're, we're, we're going to spend many hours in this. People spend a lifetime researching this kind of stuff. So... Do not, uh, you know, whatever you want to study on this could be very valuable as well. Uh, here is the map of Rotterdam. I was just zooming out to look at the, uh, this is the climate map. So you can see it gets very cold uh, as you get out here. So actually we do have farming all the way out to here and that's what we saw. And we may need to run the road a little bit south along this line. Uh, as opposed to north, uh, Moscow is north here, and then Ukraine is down in the south side here. So there may be, it's just really difficult to get this road right because there's a lot of towns uh, and details. So, but th this, this basically shows Europe here, and then you can see in Africa, it's going to be a totally different road system because we got... We kind of want to avoid discussing roads through the actual jungle, and we're going to look at the roads that look a little bit more reasonable in terms of not protecting the well, avoiding wildlife, right? So the road system, obviously, there's going to be a, there's a lot of people located here, but we want to kind of look at the road system over to Accra as opposed to going right into Lagos, Nigeria, because Accra is probably the right place there so as opposed to just putting lots of people in the jungle so here it gets very complicated because you got uganda basically right in a very major jungly area and this road system may come out through here and then go through kenya and then out to mombasa and then there's a whole new road area right through here thinking about that because this is all farmland that's brand new and then in south america uh, we're going to kind of look at this area here, primarily heading out to Rio de Janeiro. So there's this whole climate area. This area probably needs to be excluded because it's actually very diverse wildlife. So actually, we need to cut it off right in this region here and basically say maybe from this point here because we don't want to be invading into the jungle. And even here might be too much. And you can see... Um, We'll actually look at the United States where it actually comes in through several different pathways and even in California how that may be shipped over to the East Coast most of the population in the United States is biased towards the East Coast so we're gonna look at that primarily and then in India like we were mentioning uh, you know this is gonna get a little bit interesting because the the river system is essentially the road system so it's it, it, and you can see that's a lot drier on the Pakistan side than on the Bangladesh side is actually very wet. So this road system here um, will be interesting to look at. And you can see this is actually kind of like actually like Brazil, right? So Thailand um, has some of that same climate there. And then you got actually a pretty colder climate actually in, in China, which will be interesting to look at. Um, and even very cold up in here, which may actually bring us back to Europe. So actually the Chinese farming up in this region may be very beneficial to look at in terms of how we look at European farming. But 
anyway, so there's going to be a lot of different ways to look at this. So we're going to go through uh, what I originally diagrammed was kind of the population and pathways. So I actually did the road system from way out here, but actually it's probably Ukraine that we want to look at. So that's why we want to kind of run the road down through here and then right over to the main population area here. Um, and it's interesting because Pakistan and India are kind of like this island where there's all this farming going on and then it hits the desert right away here. So there's just nothing really on that side. So that's a really interesting question because this is a, maybe a topic that we need to look at is how these farms are connected. And we already looked at that the other day in terms of Lake Bacall. We went up through the road system up through Pakistan and around. Um, so it kind of did discuss some of that. We didn't really look at North Africa, but that's that's a really important topic. So because debating whether it should go by boat or even by airplane. And, and, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry about this uh, conversation here being a little bit uh, not too uh, interesting, but essentially the more we know about all this stuff that's going on, the better we're going to have a life here and the more fun we can eventually have uh, helping out. So um, there's just so much in this one map uh, to discuss. And the road, obviously these are these are very long roads here. You can see that we're gonna have, the road is perhaps very important on this pathway and also up into Canada and down to Chicago, right? Um, but it's a little bit more complex. It's extremely complicated in Southeast Asia, as you can see, because it's all islands. Um, so India actually kind of begins that discussion because as we do a road here, we're actually heading down the river, which eventually heads into Southeast Asia. So the better we can do this properly, and there's also a lot of water drainage. So when the road, when it rains, <coughs> asphalt actually has a lot of pollution in it. So it actually makes this goes hundreds of miles out into the ocean pollution in uh <coughs> for example louisiana mississippi river um shanghai <coughs> excuse me bangkok all these rivers huge amounts of pollution being dumped into the ocean so studying these roads is also uh vital for the water the dog is yelling next door and i love this guy hey buddy how are you doing feel free to help out now clean water means that if the animals have clean water this is like the most important conversation one of the most important concepts i've ever learned in my life dirty water gives an animal a headache if the animal gets pissed like that dog like you gotta have clean water for the animal if it gets a headache it's gonna piss off other life and then that eventually makes humans lives bad so Ragoon here in uh, Myanmar is also a super important drainage site because it actually gets a meter or more of rain per month along the coast here. So there's a lot of details here. And then this is some other things. So there's just the road system. Anyway, I, I don't know. I, I really need help with this. So you, you, you're, we, need, we need everyone's help on this. Um, and it, it can really be fun to look at that, that this road trips thing uh we came up with this idea to do a road trip around the mississippi and just uh visit all the farms uh but really it needs to be done all over the world uh there's some really extraordinary farming road trips that you can work on and help out with um this would be the siberian uh train um but anyway so uh, I'm going to try to publish the maps as soon as possible. I got some friends over that I want to get off, not talk on the computer and just talk with them for a little bit because this computer stuff is getting to be a little bit too much. So anyway, here's the ocean pathways. So anyway, we'll, we'll discuss this uh, in a moment here, but there's going to be uh, hopefully a lot of help here, uh, in terms of helping everyone get food uh, and get that food transported. Um, however, it does not include the very important thing of actually growing the food. So that is gonna primarily be in these regions here, like we have East Africa, Central America, and some new farming regions that we've already discussed in great detail. And here's some more of that road system, kind of the preliminary concepts of what we're gonna look at 
uh, in detail. And here you can see the United States, kind of that road. I didn't drive it all down the center because it would not look as good. So, but basically you can see the population is biased towards these places, so we're kind of doing the road system that way, but it can be bi-directional. Uh, and then here you can see again in South America, obviously I should have drawn the line through here, but I didn't, so you could actually see the farmland. Uh, and then actually looking at Central America at road system, I didn't draw any arrows here because it's actually a lot more complicated. A lot of it does go into Mexico City, but I was thinking of moving in all of Mexico City to Puerto Vallarta. I was just going to move everybody out of there and say, hey, let's move to move the ocean because this is Mexico City's kind of falling apart right now. Anyway, but here you can see Thailand, Malaysia. There's definitely going to be a very important road kind of going up around through here thailand and then down all the way to singapore that we definitely want to look at hong kong is really complicated because it's a seaport and actually getting across here there's not any farming it, it's it's an interesting case to look at it's actually means that the we have to do urban farming so i've been discussing this i, I wanted to issue a thing and say everybody in china and everybody in india basically you gotta have a farm so Everyone around the world needs to have a farm in their house and everything. And look what just happened. My friends left me. Here I am on the computer. Been talking on the computer. Really great, right, guys? Terrible. I'll be right back. So I may have to pause this and just take a walk and talk to the earth because this is a huge project. Like I said, uh, we're talking about billions of people. We don't want to make any mistakes here, not even for one person's life. I have people screaming at me for money every day and we got some bad situations when you're talking about billions of people and when you're talking about uh, saving the lives of hundreds of millions of people for the next hundred years or thousand years hey man if I make a mistake that's a pretty serious thing I maybe should just shut up and let everyone do the homework um, but uh, and that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to just end this conversation really quick here, and maybe I'll come back to it later tonight because it's such a huge project. I mean, this is a life. It's been going on for thousands. This is after many, many thousands of years. This is the map. These are the maps that we have. And we can't make any mistakes, but uh, anyway, so uh, particularly important, again, in this conversation Although it's easy to find the road system for United States and Europe, and also India is fairly easy, and China is fairly easy to understand the road system, actually Central, uh, Central America, Latin America, and Africa really are very important, um, as well as minimizing, I would say, being really cautious about what we're doing here in Southeast Asia. So that, that road trip between Thailand and now to Singapore is going to be super Super important to look at carefully because if we can focus on making that good, then people are going to say, well, I don't have to go pollute some island. I can live along the coast in Thailand. And there's some unbelievable places in Thailand um, as well as Vietnam. So anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm probably going to close this off. Um, thanks so much.